global debt has reached a record level of over $100 trillion by the end of 2024, equivalent to approximately 93% of global GDP. The major addition in global debt is contributed by the world's two largest economies, such as the United States and China. These two countries collectively surpassed $50 trillion in global debt, with US debt of approximately $36 trillion, which is more than double that of China, about $16.5 trillion. Moreover, Japan has the highest debt-to-GDP ratio in the world, with the third largest absolute debt. In this video, we will explore the countries with the highest levels of debt and analyze how debt is distributed across different nations. The United States possesses the largest national debt in the world. Although the country has a low debt-to-GDP ratio of approximately 125% as compared to Japan's 250%, it maintains the largest absolute national debt globally. The country's debt has surpassed $36 trillion in 2025, representing approximately 35% of the total global debt. It is more than double that of China's debt, about $16.5 trillion. The US debt is increasing at an alarming rate of roughly $1 trillion every 100 days, and it accounts for approximately $106,017 for every single person in America. The country is incurring significant interest payments on its national debt. According to the Congressional Budget Office, estimates of the net interest payments on the national debt in 2025 will be $1 trillion, equal to approximately 3.4% of US GDP. The US national debt has grown significantly during key historical events. By the end of World War II, it reached over $260 billion, about 120% of the country's GDP. Programs like Medicare and Social Security, introduced in the 1960s, further added to the debt. During the 2008 financial crisis, the debt rose to nearly $12 trillion, more than double its 2001 level of $5.6 trillion. By the end of 2022, it had surged to over $31 trillion, and as of 2025, it has surpassed $36 trillion, equivalent to 125% of GDP. Persistent fiscal deficits, tax cuts, high defense spending, and reduced revenues during economic downturns have pushed the US debt to its current level. China is the second largest indebted country in the world after the US. The country's total debt has surpassed $16 trillion, which accounts for approximately 90% of its GDP. By the end of 2014, nearly a decade ago, China's total debt was approximately $4.3 trillion, with the country's debt-to-GDP ratio standing at 41.54%. This rise in debt is closely tied to China's rapid economic growth and urbanization, primarily through the use of local government financing vehicles. In the late 20th century, China began extensive infrastructure projects to modernize the country, including building roads, railways, and cities. The 2008 global financial crisis marked a turning point when China introduced a $586 billion stimulus package, leading to significant borrowing by local governments and state-owned enterprises. More recently, the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 prompted further borrowing to stabilize the economy. Much of China's debt is held by domestic businesses and government-owned banks such as China Development Bank, Agricultural Development Bank of China, and Exim Bank of China. China's rising debt is closely tied to several pressing challenges, including its ongoing property crisis, housing market slowdown, aging population, and slowing exports. With a debt of approximately $10.2 trillion, Japan is the third largest debtor in the world in terms of absolute debt. However, it holds the highest debt-to-GDP ratio globally, exceeding 255%. Japan's government debt began to rise significantly in the 1970s after the 1973 oil supply shock caused a recession, prompting fiscal stimulus measures. In the 1990s, debt surged further following the burst of the asset price bubble, leading to the lost decade of economic stagnation and deflation. To revive the economy, governments introduced stimulus packages and monetary easing, driving up debt levels in the country. The 2008 global financial crisis and the 2011 tsunami, along with the Fukushima nuclear disaster, further escalated Japan's debt due to increased spending and declining tax revenues. By 2012, Japan's debt-to-GDP ratio had surpassed 200%. Policies under Abenomics, including quantitative easing, fiscal stimulus, structural reforms, and negative interest rates, pushed debt even higher, reaching over 255% of GDP today. Japan's aging population and declining birth rate have added to its financial strain, as the government spends heavily on pensions and healthcare while tax revenues shrink. Despite this record-high debt burden, Japan's default risk remains remarkably low due to strong domestic ownership of its debt. Following the United States, China, and Japan, the three largest debtor countries in the world, several other countries hold significant levels of debt. The United Kingdom ranks fourth globally and holds the highest national debt in Europe, totaling $3.65 trillion. This is equal to approximately 101.8% of the UK GDP. 
France ranks fifth globally and second in Europe with a total national debt of $3.56 trillion. Italy follows closely, ranking sixth globally and third in Europe, with a national debt of $3.25 trillion. India, with a national debt of $3.23 trillion, ranks seventh among the world's top debtor nations. Germany followed in eighth place with a debt of $2.95 trillion, while Canada ranked ninth with $2.35 trillion. Brazil, with a debt of $1.92 trillion, secured the 10th position among the world's top debtor nations. Several developing countries are also facing the worst debt crisis due to their high levels of borrowing. These include Egypt, Ethiopia, Ghana, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Kenya, Lebanon, and Tunisia. Many of these nations struggle to repay their debts while also dealing with issues like inflation, political instability, and slow economic growth. The rise in global debt has been shaped by several major events and policies. The two world wars required massive government borrowing to fund military efforts, leaving many nations with high debt levels. The 2008 global financial crisis was another turning point, which forced governments to inject trillions of dollars into their economies through bailouts and stimulus packages. During this period, the US alone added nearly $1.5 trillion in new debt. The COVID-19 pandemic further worsened the global debt situation, as countries spent heavily on healthcare, unemployment benefits, and stimulus packages. This led to a global public debt increase of over 13% of GDP between 2019 and 2021, according to the IMF. These events and policies have collectively contributed to the largest global debt levels in history.